Hello everyone! We created an ABB RoboStudio tutorial properly explaining how to define a work object coordinate system or a work object coordinate frame. A link to that video tutorial is given in the description below this video. And here we will provide a brief overview of what you will learn in that tutorial. Over here we modeled a simple cube or a box and we added that box to the robot workspace. This box can represent, for example, a table or it can represent some object that we need to work on. Then over here we have a robot tool or the robot end effector and in reality this can be, for example, a welding machine or the laser cutter or something similar or even a 3D printing extruder. Okay, so now our task is to move this point over here, that is the tip of our tool, along the edges of our cube. That is along this edge, along this edge, along this edge, and along this edge. This problem might be very difficult for programming if you base and if you try to solve this problem in the so-called world or the base coordinate system. Why is that? Well, you need to either precisely know the location of this box, which might not be true in practice, since someone can randomly put a box. And you also need to somehow model the equation or the line representing these edges. And this is also very difficult. Then, you also don't know the box geometries, so it becomes a very challenging problem. A proper way to tackle this problem is to actually define a new coordinate system. And over here, I will show you that coordinate system. Here is the coordinate system. This coordinate system or coordinate frame is called the work object coordinate system or the work object coordinate frame. And I define that coordinate system such that its x and y axes are actually along the edges of my box. That is, we can define a work object such that, or work object frame, that is, that is actually attached to the object that we want to work on. And this solves all of our problems. Now, since we define this coordinate system, we can simply say to robot, okay, move inside of this coordinate system. And here you can see the coordinates. So if I specify Z0, I will exactly go to this point. Now, if I want to move along this edge, I will simply move along the x-axis like this. Then I can go back to zero and the robot will go. Then if I want to move along the y-axis, I will simply change this and then I will go back to zero and we solve the problem like that. And notice over here that we are not moving in a global coordinate system. We are moving along the newly defined coordinate system. That's aligned with our object. That's why it's called work object coordinate system or work object coordinate frame. And of course we can move in this plane, we can specify any point 159 or for example 130 and we can simply go to that point and that's it. And this solves our big problem. In the tutorial whose link is given in the description below you will learn how to define a work object coordinate systems and how to move in work object coordinate systems. And this is very important skill for robotic engineers.